the Chesapeake Homes Design Gallery. Congratulations on your new Chesapeake Homes home and thank you for choosing us. We know you have a lot of options in the Raleigh market and we're honored to be building for you. My name is Brandi Kay, the design professional who will be guiding you through the selection process and helping you create the home that is just right for you. Thank you for your flexibility and joining me in this virtual preview experience. I hope you find it informative. We're all navigating a new normal and Just Becomes is trying to remain as accommodating as possible while still ensuring our COVID-19 policies are being followed, which will keep everyone safe. I know you're watching today to see what selections you have to pick from here in the gallery, but before I get started with the tour, I'd like to describe to you what we're doing to keep everyone healthy amidst the outbreak. I personally clean the gallery after every preview and appointment and at the end of every day. Customers coming in to view samples can do just that, view only. It's for your health benefit that we are asking buyers not to touch. Before any scheduled in-person meeting, preview or selection appointment, I'll be calling to confirm the health of all attendees. With these new guidelines in place, I'm still able to bring buyers into the space to see selections firsthand. This is huge right now because so many galleries across the country are closing their doors. I don't wanna see us get to that point, which is why I'm asking only parties to the transaction attend any in-person previews or selection appointments. Buyer representatives can attend virtually. If you, as a buyer during this pandemic are still uncomfortable coming into the gallery in person, I'm offering virtual previews like this or virtual selection appointments. Chesapeake Homes is proud to be considered an essential service and the building industry is still full steam ahead. In order to keep moving forward in these uncertain times, we are not able to allow any extensions, which means will be able to deliver your home in a timely manner. Apart from the extra precautions we've put in place to protect us all against the coronavirus, there are other guidelines you'll want to keep in mind while planning through the build process. The design gallery is not a safe place for children under normal circumstances, so if you do plan to attend any appointments in person, please find alternative childcare. You may also need to coordinate other dates where your presence will be required either in person or virtually. Your two selection appointments, your pre-construction meeting, your pre-drywall walkthrough, and your pre-settlement walkthroughs. Details on these meetings can be found in your Chesapeake Homes Home Buyer Guide. The 10% Selection deposit will be due on your second design appointment when we finalize and authorize your design decisions. And lastly, I ask that all of our buyers enjoy this process. We are living in a very stressful time right now, but you are building a home for you and your family to create memories in long after this virus is over. Think about your future in your new Chesapeake Homes home. Now, without further ado, let's see the gallery. Here in the gallery, you're going to see options that you don't actually pick here, like the barn doors. The enhancement for adding the barn doors is done on site with your sales representative. You pick the color here in the gallery. I call that an example of one of our two-part enhancements. Another example of a two-part enhancement is going to be your kitchen layout. Please keep in mind, we are actually in a corporate office building. So this specific vignette is not indicative to any particular floor plan we build in any of our communities. We just used what we had for the space available. But going back to the layout, this is an example of a gourmet kitchen. The gourmet kitchen layout you would pick on site with your sales representative 
and then you come here in the gallery to pick your appliances, for example. Your appliances will always have a range, a microwave, a dishwasher, and a food disposal included, whether you do the gourmet or not. The one item that is not included in your appliance package is the fridge. Now, if you want something that's going to keep your food frozen or cold, we can accommodate that. Those fancy fridges where you knock on the door and it tells you when your milk expires, unfortunately, we don't offer those. So just keep that in mind when you're planning your home. While we're still on the topic of appliances, I'd like to direct your attention to the dishwasher. It has, it's a Profile Series GE dishwasher, which has hidden controls. The controls are up on the top, which makes it a little bit more attractive. But also the benefits are the ability to change the load size so you're not wasting water. You have these bottle spray jets to clean inside water bottles, baby bottles, those protein shake bottles. Also the stemware clips are much tighter than the last model, so um, your stemware is less likely to jiggle around. It has a twin turbo dry boost, which dries plastic, and it's Wi-Fi. More appliances you have to pick from. While we're in the gourmet vignette, I'll describe the gourmet appliances. This could get a little overwhelming, so just remember you can rewatch the video. Um, all of the gourmet appliances will have a cooktop, either gas or electric. When we do the cooktop, it gives you the ability to have nice deep drawers underneath to use that extra cabinet space. Here's where it gets tricky. You have three different versions of the hood or microwave over the cooktop. You're gonna have a microwave in Gourmet 1, which will be attached to a cabinet. Gourmet 2 will have a hood attached to a cabinet. Gourmet 3, which is this, will have the Euro chimney hood. Gourmet 2 and 3, you're still following me, have a microwave convection oven combo. So as you can see, it does both. And of course, your traditional convection oven. And I just love these trays. Look at that, how they roll out. Very nice. I'll show you the oven that comes in the Gourmet One package in the next vignette. Remember how I mentioned you get deep drawers under your cooktop? You could also substitute any base cabinet for large deep drawers too. We still give you the option to do that even if you don't go gourmet, so that's great. Another popular kitchen cabinet accessory is the trash can pullout drawer. If you're upgrading your kitchen and it's so beautiful, who wants to have a plastic receptacle sitting out? This um, drawer gives you both a recycle bin and a regular trash bin. Another feature that this vignette is showing are the soft close doors and drawers. As you can see in the drawers, we hide the hardware. It has full drawer extension and of course, it's built to withstand this force. As opposed to the non-soft clothes, the drawer doesn't pull out all the way. You have the hardware exposed on the side, but it is still dovetail construction. So don't think you're getting a lesser quality box. After closing this door, I'd like to show you how close they are. And the drawers and doors are all closer together. This is an example of what's called a full overlay cabinet. So you have that to pick from as well. Not to overwhelm you with too many choices, but on this island, you'll see that the spacing is a little further apart. That is an example of what's called a partial overlay. Getting into the real nitty gritty details, you also get to choose your edge style for your kitchen countertops. This is an example of an eased edge, which is included. And then over here, you have one of our um, enhancements, which is an OG edge style. A little decorative scroll there. While we're focusing in over the island here, I'd like to direct your attention to this sink. It is 
starting to become a very popular trend to have a farmhouse sink with an apron. It's beautiful, but the large basin offers uh, more protection against what I like to call the Sea World splash zone. When you're doing big pots and pans in the sink, you're less likely to, you know, soak yourself. Another great benefit to this is the offset drain, which is angled down. So things just naturally gravitate towards the drain. Very pretty. As you can see, we are in a new vignette. I wanted to show you the example of the hood that's going to come in the Gourmet 2. This will be attached to your cabinet and then you'd have your cooktop. Now, if you're thinking you don't need to go full gourmet with the cooktop and the drawers and the double ovens and all that, but maybe you don't like how the cooking space can seem crowded if someone's at the stove but someone else wants to warm up something in the microwave, you do have the option to do a built-in version of the microwave, which moves it away from the range. When you do the included layout for your kitchen, you'll have a slide in range like this, and then the microwave will be right here. I hope that helps you visualize, even though I don't have enough space to show every version here. Um, one thing to focus in on, this is showing another example of our countertop edge styles. This is the bevel edge. And in the island, we have the half full nose. Lots of details to pick from here. We may be a production builder, but we try to give you many choices. Speaking of more choices, if you are thinking you need organization in your cabinets, but maybe you don't need the deep drawers, you could do roll out trays as well. And if the farmhouse sink isn't for you, there's a version of an undermount sink which gives you the possibility to do a tilt out tray for, you know, those little straw brushes. I always lose mine. I wish I had the tilt out tray to keep them. As promised, these are the ovens for the Gourmet One. You have two full size because remember the Gourmet One has a microwave over the cooktop. So you have the microwave plus the two full ovens instead of a microwave oven combo and one full oven. So that's a big difference. As you can see, when you come in for your design selection appointment, there is plenty of space to keep our social distance here at the island. While you're sitting at that large island, patiently waiting for me to play Vanna, I'll start pulling selections and samples for you so you get a good visual of your overall palette. Behind each of these cabinet door styles are all the colors in which they are available. This is your included door style. And these are the five colors it comes in. Then we have your two, your three, your four, and so on and so forth. To pair with your cabinets, we have your included kitchen granite. and other available selections, levels one through three. Granite, of course, has been around since the dawn of time. It's a very strong, natural product. It is porous because it is a natural stone, so you do have to seal it, although it is less temperamental when it comes to heat. So if you are um, worried about burning, this might be a good option for you. Over here we have the quartz. Now quartz is a man-made product. There's a resin in it, which makes it more sensitive to heat. You don't ever want to put a pan directly on this because it could burn. However, the benefit is this beautiful bright white won't stain because it's non-porous. It does not need to be sealed. 
it's a little bit user friendly in that regards and antimicrobial, which is important right now with the virus going around. I like to call this my jewelry box because it has all the fun, sparkly accent tiles. Now these are for backsplash in the kitchen. Fun shapes. These are your included tiles. I've done these large rectangles on herringbone patterns. It's really fun. More backsplash. See how sparkly it is? That's why I call it the jewelry box. This is starting to transition. These can be backsplash tile or they can also be accent tile. They can be just a thin strip in the master shower or a waterfall feature like behind my desk. More accents. More accents. This is where it gets really fun. Corner shelves if you need more storage for shampoo bottles. And this is for your shower floor. If you want to replace the fiberglass shower pan, the pebbles feel like little foot massagers when you're standing on them. Penny tile for waterfall accent is a great idea. This is more shower floor and more shower floor. If you are still interested in the traditional look of hardwood, we do offer the engineered hardwood. It has a dense core to prevent denting. However, the top coat is urethane, so you could potentially see some scratching. It's not as durable as a laminate product. People still do love the beautiful look and style of the engineered hardwood though. As you can see, we have a lot of laminate options though, and the laminate has what's called an aluminum oxide top coat to prevent that scratching, which makes it much more durable than an engineered hardwood product. Tile is very versatile. It comes in many shapes, patterns, textures. It can look like wood. It can look like marble. So I don't really need to spend too much time here, except I do want to point out the porcelain product we offer because it's dyed inside to match the surface. If you happen to chip a corner, you wouldn't notice it as much. Something that can be used in wet surface areas but looks like wood, luxury vinyl plank. I'm sure you've heard the term LVP because it's becoming very popular these days. This has a urethane top coat, so it may scratch more than a traditional laminate would. However, the benefit is, if you're someone who's afraid of water damage, this is your stuff. It has a PVC core and a vinyl top, so it's completely waterproof. Now, I know most people these days want hard surface flooring anywhere they can get it. I personally still get jazzed over carpet and let me tell you why. Our baseline included carpet has what's called Everstrand technology. It's a Scotchgard top coat to prevent staining. Look at that great neutral color. Even better than that, Mohawk has this incredible technology 
This is called Smart Strand, and I challenge you after this video to go to Mohawk's YouTube channel and see how they've tortured this stuff. They've put it at the end of Tough Mudder contests, um, inside zoos for the rhinos to live on, and it doesn't stain because it's made from recycled plastic water bottles. Forever Clean technology. You could drop wine, coffee, bleach. You're not going to ruin this carpet. The last category I want to point out in your virtual preview today is our fixture wall. Our fixtures are finished here in North Carolina just down the road in Sanford and the big takeaway is your included is this style faucet in this color. Unfortunately I don't have enough space to show every line in every available color so Branford and Chrome is your included you can get the Branford in the chrome, brushed nickel, or oil rub bronze. Same with the Dartmoor. Same with the Eva. If you like that beautiful matte black that is really trendy right now, Gibson or Align offer that color. You can also get it in the kitchen in the Arbor faucet. The Arbor faucet also has motion sense technology, so you don't even have to touch the faucet to turn the water on, which these days with the virus going around, that is a great feature. Your kitchen faucets do come included with a soap dispenser. Of course, you don't have to have it if you don't want it, but it is included. You might be seeing this in the video and wondering what it is. Flow, let me tell you about Flow. Flow is a leak detector. Okay, so sure, leak detectors have been on the market for decades. This is the first smart leak detector that can turn the water off for you. So that is something to look into. Thanks again for joining me on this virtual preview. I appreciate your flexibility and bearing with us during these uncertain times. I hope you and your families stay safe and healthy. Please email me if you have any questions about things I've covered in this video or things I didn't and maybe you have specific questions of. I'm happy to help in any way I can before your selection appointment. Thanks again.